there it's Amanda here from Lolly Lulu Crafts and today we're going to be doing a project using my gorgeous pink Cricut Expression. Now we've got all the new machines, the lovely gorgeous Cricut Explore, the Cricut Mini etc but you know you can't get away from the fact that I just love this machine. This Cricut Expression it's just wonderful, I love cutting with it and I just thought we haven't done anything with it for a little while so let's do a project. Now the beauty of this is if you're not into computers and things you don't have to use a computer with it so let's get cracking with our project. So I've put in my Simply Charmed cartridge and the Simply Charmed overlay. Yes. Now we're going to be going to page 47 on our Simply Charmed book. I figured it's summer, it's British summer, it's Wimbledon, so strawberries and there's lovely cute little strawberries. So I thought we've got to do it, haven't we? So that's what we're going to be cutting out today. Okay, so I've loaded my mat up with my paper. Now you don't need as big pieces as that, I just was being lazy, I can't be bothered to chop them up, but you could cut them up to make them a bit smaller and you'd probably get all the colours on. But I'm gonna pop it under there and I'm gonna hit load mat, like so. And so we're gonna be doing that and I also want to do a couple of the individual strawberries as well so I will do those as I'm on each colour so we'll do it all at the same time. So the first one we're doing is the pink and we want this base layer first of all. So my main strawberry image on its in its bowl I want to be at an inch and a half so we're just going to change the size here to an inch and a half and then we're going to click on the strawberry bowl here so we're just waiting for that to come up and then we're going to kick, cut now it's on maximum and basically it's on maximum everything that's pretty much how I cut <laughs> and this is American Crafts cardstock so that's that one cut out now just looking at the m little strawberry on its own it's the shift key and it's still in the pink so we're just going to click on shift and the strawberry button and it will come up here there we go so now I need to take that down because I don't want it to be an inch and a half I want it to be an inch for my individual strawberry and then we're going to click cut and then I'm going to click cut um, repeat last beg your pardon and then wait for it and click cut again so, I want so let's take this back up to an inch and a half because that's the sort of thing I would forget and then we're going to take my cutting blade up to my red and then the next layer is our layer one function key so we're going to click on that and then we're going to click on our strawberry bowl and that will bring up the three individual strawberries so that's an inch and a half and cut. Okay now we want the two strawberries that we did on our shift so it's this layer here and then it should come up there we go and then hit cut and then repeat last and that's just saves us doing all of that because we know we want exactly the same so we can cut. Okay so that's that done so again let's move that up to one and a half and then move across to the black into the corner there okay so we're doing this layer here which is the bowl but it's the bit behind the bowl can you just see his little eyes that's really all you're doing so we're going to click on layer 2 and the strawberry bowls. There we go. And then we're going to click cut. Okay. And now with layer two, with the shift key, you can see it's actually a change of colour. So we've got nothing to cut on this one because we're on the black. Okay. So we're going to go down to our patterned card. I want it to be where I think it's going to get a nice part of the pattern. I think that will be good there actually. Okay, so then we're going to click layer 3 and the strawberry bowl. 
so we click cut okay so that's this mat done so I'm going to take this off and reload it with some new colours okay so I've got my green card stock and this is from my last layers let's just load that in and we've got here the little white layers but we're not going to be doing those they are the little bits on there you can see the little dots and also the highlight on the bowl and also on here I'm just going to use a gel pen for that so we are now just doing these final bits here which is the green tops of our strawberry and the same here for our bowl of strawberries so I'm going to do this one at an inch and a quarter just to make it a little bit bigger because it's so small at an inch I think that piece would almost not cut through so let's just um, we want layer two shift strawberry I've set it to an inch and a quarter I don't know if this will be right but let's give it a go okay and then let's just repeat last and that one's that one done so then an inch and a half and we want layer two off and we want layer four and the strawberry bowl and this will cut out these tiny little white bits as well because it, you, if you're doing this yourself you'll have to cut all of that on white and all of it on green and then separate it unless you're doing it using the computer or your gypsy okay so then press cut okay then unload mat oh they're not too bad okay let's see if they've cut through right yeah they've cut through fine i'm going to leave those on the mat because they're so tiny it's going to be easier to take them off the mat so that's everything cut out so now we need to come to the table and start putting this card together okay so that's everything cut out so let's start getting these put together so first actually is our red layer because part of that strawberry is hidden behind our black layer so let's just put a bit of cosmic shimmer on the back of our strawberries here and pop that down in position there we go and then we want the black layer and that goes on top And that's just so that we see that little face through because we've got then I've done it a pattern layer they did a blue layer but you can see look it's got a little smiley face I may even put some googly eyes on that to be honest because I think that would look really cute so then we put on our pattern layer And I always find it easier just to pick it up when you're trying to line things up. I just think for me that works better. So there it is. Looking good, I think. And then I want to put his little cheeks on. So we've got two little pieces. If you're wondering what they were for, that's what they are. So we're just going to actually, I'm going to pop that down there. I'm going to pop the little bit of glue. There's a little mark on the layer that I've done as patterned but on that part of it and that will tell you where to put your glue okay, isn't that cute and then we need to add off here we've got the little tops of our strawberry the little green parts so let's just push that through so they stay stuck on my mat so I'm just going to add Bit of glue to the top of each strawberry, stuck to that, like so. And then I'm going to get these and start popping them down. I'm just using my little pokey tool here. There we go. There we go, that look cute. 
Okay, so we will pop that there. And what I do want is some little googly eyes. I think that will look really adorable. Okay, so now what I want to do is just put on the white dots using my gel pen here. So I'm just going to do that. There we go. That look good. His eyes, right? There we go. All right, so we're going to put all of those to one side now, and we're going to start putting our card together. Okay, so we've got a piece of the heavy Simon Says stamp cardstock, which is eight and a half by eleven. So we're going to cut it down the center long way. So that's four and a quarter. We're going to create a side folding card that's nice and long. So then I'm just going to fold that back out of the way and score this at five and a half inches. There we go. And then just fold it over. Just making sure those corners meet. that fold up and there we have our side folding card which I think looks really nice and then this piece of red cardstock here so our card is now five and a half by four and a quarter so I want this red piece at five and a quarter by four that will mat up on there like so which is going to look really nice and then I've got this gorgeous piece of pattern cardstock which comes from the same card pack that we got the pattern cardstock for our strawberry bowl which is this lovely sweet nectar by K and Co it's got some really gorgeous stuff in there so we're going to cut that to five by three and three quarters like that, so that's going to look really nice and we're going to put these layers together so we're going to stick this red one down first just using my cosmic shimmer And cardstock again just sticking it down using my cosmic shimmer like so so the last layer I cut was three and three quarters by five so I'm going to take an inch off that so I'm going to do four inches and this is just the other part of that white cardstock that we cut for our card base because I need it to match it's important with whites I think to, to make sure it does match so that's four inches and then we had three and three quarters so let's try two and three quarters because I want a sort of a good chunk of that pattern to show but I do want some white in the middle and I think that's going to be just perfect Okay, so now I want to run this through my embossing folder. So we're going to emboss using this Anna Griffin Cuddle Bug embossing folder. And we're going to go A plate, B plate, embossing folder with my card. So I just want to position my card. So pop that in there with my card in. And then finally my plate and then we'll pop that through like so I know 
know it's like Christmas when you take embossing folders out and I love watching how they come out and that gorgeous wow that looks stunning such a deep emboss as well okay so that's pieces embossed okay so I just want to cut some red cardstock to map that white onto so I want three by four and a quarter so let's see if we can fit it in this little patch here that we've got I couldn't get any more close than that could you okay so then we're going to use my glue gel on the back to stick my embossed piece down there we go that looks so pretty and then we're going to stick that piece down flat so I'm just going to use my cosmic shimmer for that there we go so you can see plenty of that pattern paper behind and then you've got the lovely embossing as well and now we're going to pop on our little strawberries now what I did do is I cut out the shadow feature in cream and to be honest it was pretty measly um, margin I perhaps would have taken it up a little if I'd have realized so I actually stuck the bottom of the original piece to the bottom of the shadow and then that created a little shadow around the top I just felt that added a little dimension to it that just helped and then I also cut out very sweet at three quarters of an inch plus its shadow feature at three quarters of an inch so those two are going here okay so one there one there and there's strawberries just spare strawberries down there so I'm going to put my berry sweet on first because I want that flat so I'm going to just use my glue gel still because of the embossing but we just want to add a little bit of that just on the back here and then pop that in the corner so it's not too high or anything there we go so that looks cute and then we want to stick down my strawberry bowl here definitely 3D'd so now you could use your foam pads if you want but I think with um, again with the embossing there I think it is better with the glue gel there we go so we've just got a bit of dimension which I think looks nice okay so now we're going to stick our strawberries on so we're just going to position them we go and you can do them at different heights and things which is kind of cool here we go so that's our little strawberries stuck down and then all I've done to finish off is just added some colored of the pattern cardstock on the inside with a little bit of uh, matting just to add some interest and then I had a spare strawberry so I added that next to a sentiment which says you're very special to me and that's a stamp from Pink Cricket and I think that looks really cute on the inside as well so that is our finished card and I think that's turned out so sweet I'm really really pleased with it I hope you like my Wimbledon inspired card and I would love to hear your comments. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye for now. Bye.